Uh, I think a European and, and, and the British government should be focused on their deep dialogue. And now we have a new step in this dialogue about the, the conditions of the Brexit with uh, Theresa May's government coming up with, with a white paper. Now it's time to sit and discuss properly between the European Commission and the British government about the technicalities and the details of this proposal. Are you hopeful? I think there is a, a very good willingness to, uh, to discuss, so the dialogue is uh, now reopened and it's a good thing. How can France boost its attractivity within the conditions given by Brexit? How can France take advantage of Brexit? First, I would like to say that France is boosting, is, is really working hard to, uh, to, to uh, improve its attractivity and its competitiveness for France itself. I mean, we need it to do it. We need it to change our fiscal system. We need it to change our social law. We need it to boost our uh, uh, vocational training. So all, the, all this, we do it for ourselves. We do not do it to take advantage of anything. Now, in the context of the Brexit, we have also focused on the attractiveness of the uh, financial uh, world, financial context in, in Paris. And so we are, I am here to discuss and to present and to explain to uh, the players here in London what we are doing to attract them to relocate some of their activities in Paris. And it's quite a, a deep uh, movement to um, simplify the regulation, to make sure our uh, tax system is uh, welcoming for impatriates. So all these measures, I am going to explain them again here today. With Brexit, the city of London may change. And is it possible to see parts of the city and in your in Paris, as far as the financial world is concerned? We, with Brexit, the, the, the way financial services are delivered in Europe will change. I'm sure London will remain a very large place for financial services, very complete and deep uh, place. But we think that um, some of the teams will have to consider uh, to, to build some, uh, uh, some uh, affiliates and to open uh, new services are also from the European Union and from uh, the Eurozone itself. So uh, we, um, we want Paris to be very uh, welcoming and we have uh, put forward a set of measures. We are opening international schools in Paris with uh, 1,000 uh, new, uh, new, new positions. Uh, we have a European school opening in Paris. We have uh, an English-speaking uh, appeal court uh, that is now uh, uh, functional uh, in Paris. We have uh, reviewed all our uh, tax uh, tax legislation to make sure that there is no penalization for people coming uh, to, to work to, in Paris to, uh, in the financial sector. So especially for uh, the, the, the goodwill, especially for the carried interest, so all these topics that have been uh, put forward in, uh, in our work uh, with the, the financial players, we are progressively uh, implementing them in our regulation. And the Prime Minister, the French Prime Minister, has made uh, specific announcements two, year, two days ago in Paris.